Hi, Em here from Aunt Em's Quilts and Em's Scrap Bag, and today I'm going to teach you how to do a scrappy spider web. I have displayed a scrappy one behind me. On the left here is a more controlled one. If you're interested in learning how to do that, put it in the comments and I'll look into showing you how to do that. It takes a lot more brain juice than the scrappy one, I'm just telling you FYI. So, um... Remember to like and subscribe on my videos if you like these. And then let's get started. To start with, we'll make our kite template. You're going to take an 8 and a half by 11 piece of paper. I'm going to fold it on the diagonal this way. And I'm going to... I put my ruler here so I get a nice crisp edge. And I'm just going to take that along there and then... I'm going to cut along this line. That way I have a square. Then I'm also going to cut along this fold line here. So I have this triangle. Along this edge I want to measure a quarter inch. And I'm going to draw a line there. I'm going to also fold this in half again. And then I like to draw me a line here just so I can see it better. Then I'm going to do two and a half inches from the edge here and I'm going to mark it. And I'm going to do two and a half inches from this other side. And I'm going to mark it. Then down here at the bottom where this fold is, I'm going to measure a quarter inch so it intersects with the original quarter inch line that I made. And I'm going to do that on either side. Then those little marks I made, I'm just going to line them up. and draw a line. And that is my kite piece. I'm going to cut that out. Then I mount mine just to lightweight cardboard like a cereal box or a cracker box and I put some sandpaper that I glue on there. That just helps when I'm putting it on the fabric it doesn't slip. I also wrote on here eight and a half inch square because that is what size foundation I'm going to be using with this in case I want to save this template for another time and use it then I'll know what that is. Okay then I'm going to want to cut four and a half inch strip of whatever I want my kites to be for my spider web. I found that gives me the least amount of waste. You still have a little bit of waste but not as much. I'm going to get me a straight edge here and then I'm going to put my template on here. I'm going to put my ruler on it and I'm going to cut. Flip it the other way and cut. And I take it away here And I cut that little bit off at the end. And that gives me my kite. And I can flip my kite the other way here. I like to go cut it first this way. So I'll have a straight edge for the next set of kites. And I cut here. And I cut the tip. And I do that all the way down my strip. Then I cut an eight and a half inch square of muslin. You can use paper, but I really hate to have to pick it off. So I use muslin. It does make my quilt a little bit heavier, but that saves me from ripping off that paper. I know some people find that relaxing. It drives me bonkers. Okay, so I'm going to cut this in half, and then I'm going to fold this in half. I've got all these little ends that I cut off there. And I'm going to take one of my kites 
I'm going to line that up along the bottom there so it's on the center and then put it onto my foundation and then I'm going to grab my glue stick and just flip this up and glue that in place. Okay, then we're going to grab our random strip spin. This is my random strips. I'm going to pull this one out because I don't want it in. And you can see all different colors, different sizes. They're just random strips. I have pulled some of them out because I don't want them in my quilt. And since some people have expressed a need for um, knowing what what does and does not go together, I'm going to show you kind of what I did pull out. I pulled out the navy because I didn't want it to compete with my stars kind of having a love affair with navy right now so that's why I did my stars navy and then I pulled out kind of the muted colors so this is what I have more brights and fun all right and we're just going to pick a strip and we're going to line that up along the edge of our kite you want to pin that strip in place so it doesn't wiggle that's probably a good idea I don't always do it and so then we're just going to sew that strip on, okay? And we'll press here and then press it back. Just set the seam and then press it back. Okay, and we're just going to do that all the way along the side. Then I like to trim all those long tails off before I start on the other side. And it will look like this. I don't worry about this upper part. I'll do that later. Then we're going to set the seam and press it back just as before. And then we're just going to continue down our foundation. So it looks like this. And then once again, we're going to trim it. So you get your triangle that looks like this. And for each block, you're going to need four of these. Then you'll lay your block out like this. Put these sides together. You can pin here a quarter inch in and make sure that it lines up on the side where your star is if you're really worried about your um, points coming together. When you put it all together, no one notices and it will still look great, but that's just a tip. Um, so, so here and here. Then I like to press my seams open then I'm just going to line these up and I'm going to sew along this seam. I have a scrappy spider web block. It will measure, it will finish at ten and a half. Then as you make more blocks and put them together, it will make the spider web like this. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. See you next time.